Hey you guys, it's Jessica. Welcome back to my channel. Today, as you can see, I don't have a wig on my head because I wanted to come here and show you guys step by step how I get my wigs to work for me. So if you are new to wigs, the first step that you want to do is find out what your personal style is. Like what, what are you attractive to? What works well for your style? For me, I love anything that is big hair. Like I'm just immediately attracted to anything that mimics my own natural hair but with lots of volume so I love big curly hair I love big kinky hair those are the things that attract me then you want to select your color so what color works well for you if you are just starting off with wigs I would suggest getting something that matches your natural hair color I have dark hair so I would start off with like a 1b or a color number one if you naturally have lighter hair then you can go lighter than that but you want to find a color that is more like a everyday color something that you can wear to work after work something that just goes with everything that you have then you get your wig and once you get your wig it's time to apply it so the first thing you're going to do is put your wig cap on no this is not optional you must wear a wig cap reasons why it protects your hair from any snags and anything like that that may cause breakage. The whole purpose of wearing wigs is not to neglect your hair. Um, many people wear it for protective style, such as myself. I love it as a protective style, and I love it to just change up my style, but I still want hair on my head at the end of the day. So you wanna ensure that you protect your hair with a wig cap because it will allow the wig to go on smoothly and not snag your hair or any of the any of that other stuff that we just don't want to deal with. Okay, so the wig right here and it's gorgeous. I got this wig from Elevate Styles. It's affordable, but it's gonna give me that new look that I want. So what you're gonna do is adjust the straps to fit your head. I have a peanut small head, so I'm going to adjust the straps. I put it right here, right in the middle, and it should fit really well. I like this wig because it does not come, come with combs, so, um, just to preserve my edges, girl, because I have sensitive edges and they get snatched by wigs very easily. So I am make sure it's on correctly. Okay, so this is the wig on my head. Now, this is where a lot of ladies go wrong, is they put the wig on, they buy a wig, they put the wig on their head and they're just like, like, why did I waste my money on this? It's not cute. Like it doesn't look like the package or it doesn't look like what I expected it to look like. Okay. And a lot of women make this mistake with wigs. That's why some women just like, they just do this to wigs. No wigs. Wigs are ugly. And it's not that they're ugly. You just have to get the wig to work for your personal style. So this is my favorite part and this is the customization part. This is where you customize the wig to fit you, your personal style, your the frame of your face, your head shape. Since this is a curly textured wig, I'm gonna take my hands and just fluff her out. Get her all big. Now, a lot of this has to do with preference. Depending on how you like your wig to look, at the end of this process. If you like to keep the original um, keep the original texture, then you may not want to go through and finger it too much. But for me, girl, if you've been following me, you know how I like it. So you can immediately notice the difference from me just fingering it. It looks, it looks like it has more density. It's more um, fuller. Now you can definitely stop here, but I'm going to keep going because I like more texture and frizziness. So I'm going to take my tool, which is this paddle brush, and just go through and brush out. So you can clearly see the difference between the side that I added the paddle brush to kind of give some volume versus the side that I use my fingers. So if you like a little bit more relaxed look, then you can definitely just stop at the finger combing. But me, I love volume, I love exaggerated hair. You guys, I'm extra when it comes to hair. So after all the fluffing, the combing and brushing, I have this natural looking fro that is gorgeous, you guys. I love it. Now that my wig has been customized, I 
I can go in and style it any way that I like. If I want to wear it in this fro state, I can do that. I can do updo, side twist, whatever fits my personal style or my mood. I have the options to do that now because I'm rocking my wig with confidence because I customized it to fit my personal style. And after I've mastered my basic, you know, everyday go-to look, then I can play around with different colors. I can play around with different options. I have the ability to do that because I know what I'm doing now. You know what I mean? So it's all about trying things out. It's all about finding what works for you, finding something that works. This wig definitely works for me. It complements my style, I feel, to a T. Okay? I can strut my stuff out in public and no one would know that this is a wig. That's how it should be. That's all for this video, you guys. I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. Do not forget to check the description box because I have information on this wig from Elevate Styles and more wigs you can check out at that site as well. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any more cool videos such as this one. And I'll see you guys in my next one.